We're here at Red Bull Hardline, and this is Brendan Fairclough's Scott Gambler. So this bike is in its mullet setup, so 29 on the front and 27 and a half at the back, which seems to be kind of a theme at Hardline for that extra rolling of the front, but the maneuverability of the rear, especially on some of those big hits. The frame is full carbon front and back, and this is a large, and Brendan sits at 5'11", or about 182 centimeters. So this bike is full carbon front and rear. The head angle on this bike is hard to pin down. It can range from about 62 to 64, because it's incredibly adjustable, thanks to the flip chips at the bottom of the shock there, and also in terms of axle length and wheel size at the back. So there are a lot of variations that can happen on this bike, which could give it really different angles. This bike has a 460 mil reach. However, it is adjustable via the headset. This bike spent a long time in its prototype, guys. So needless to say, he's running it all pretty stock because it's about as bang up to date as you could hope to be. It has a really generous down tube protector, as well as very neat cable routing. He's actually got a little bit of tube there to eliminate any cable rattle whatsoever. Brendan's running the 27 in the back, but interestingly, he's got it in its long position. He's also running the bottom bracket in the flip chip via the shock there in the high position. So obviously to negate any issues you might have to do with clearance. Brendan is running the M9 rims from Envy paired to some ultra nice silver polished Chris King hubs. These tires look like DHR2s. However, there is a test pilot decal on one of them and nothing on the other. So maybe a slight modification or a slight update on the fan favorite. Brendan is running the Fox 49er with the Grip 2 damper coupled to a DHX2 coil with a 525 pound spring. Really seems to be quite a common combination. A lot of riders sticking to coil for the sensitivity, but also the hard hits up top. For stopping power, we've got TRP's downhill model. So super, super powerful and 203 rotors front and back. Now, there is no surprises to find the death grips on this bike from DMR, obviously them being his signature grips. We've got the Deity bars and stem. The Deities are 780 in width and the stem is about 50 mil with no spaces underneath it. And we have an MB Cyclery top cap, which is a nice nod to his local bike shop. More Deity goodness in terms of the seat post and saddle. Also, he's running one of Marsh Guard's number boards. It's actually a really neat way to keep it and uh, looks incredibly secure, bolted down at the front. Yet again, more signature componentry coming from DMR Vault. Uh, Brendan helped to develop that pedal, so it's no surprises to see it on the bike. Being an aggressive flat pedal rider, he has got the DMR Kingpins, which are absolutely monstrously long pins, kind of ensuring your foot stays on it. And if it doesn't, you'll be sorry, because I wouldn't want that in your shin. He's running a SRAM downhill specific XO drivetrain, so that's seven speed, coupled with the proprietary Scott Gambler chain device. So super neat, it looks really, really flush. We've got more DMR for the cranks. We've got the Alloy AXE cranks. A lot of riders choosing Alloy over carbon this weekend, and I'm not surprised if I'm perfectly honest. And that is, well, it's one hell of a bike. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. And it's how you prepare a bike for the toughest downhill race in the world. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. If you want to stay with the channel, we've got Tio Galli's bike check here, which I thoroughly recommend checking out, and also we've got G Atherton's and to click down here. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.